Rick and Morty has a huge fan base, but the Intergalactic series can learn a thing or two from The Simpsons. Also, the show's co-creator Dan Harmon discussed the things that he got wrong about it. So you must be wondering, what all did he get wrong and what are the details? Well, we're here to give you answers. Keep watching this video to find out the latest news. First up, Rick and Morty can learn a lot from The Simpsons. In 2018, Adult Swim ordered another 70 Rick and Morty episodes to air over numerous seasons. While they released only some of those episodes, it was an indicator that the studio was not only pleased with the show, but also considered it to have long-term potential. Creators Justin Roiland and Dan Harmon feel the same way. Roiland recently told The Wrap, I think the show could go on forever, but they did address a comparison made in conjunction with the renewal news. He said that they're not attempting to copy The Simpsons and are producing fewer episodes than the long-running show. But when it comes to shows with remarkable longevity, the 20th Century Studios series is unquestionably one to learn from. Despite what its creators claim, Rick and Morty appears to be following elements of their formula. How else can the Adult Swim program look to its Disney slash Fox competition and ensure its relevance for the coming years? Moving on, let's talk about mixed continuity. Continuity has always been a huge issue for Rick and Morty. The show walks a fine line between allowing most of its seasons to feel standalone before a sudden and unexpected arc connects back to a previous adventure or villain? That has been the case with shows like Bird Person and Evil Morty in the past. But the opening episode of the last season appears to have promised more continuity-focused storylines in the future. The Simpsons have also had to find a balance between revisiting earlier stories and making each episode feel fresh and self-contained for any new fan who might tune in. The Fox show was a big achievement in terms of rewarding long-term fans while also remaining continuously accessible to newbies. If Rick and Morty is to approach the scale and longevity of the Simpsons, it must stick to its current path. After all, the longer the show runs, the more damaging it is to its popularity if people are forced to watch from the beginning. The length of the series makes a huge difference. Rick and Morty's shorter seasons make continuity easier to maintain than The Simpsons' frequent 20-plus episode runs. Following up, what about bringing in guest stars? Longevity can be based on rating, and various factors can influence it. The Simpsons perfected a simple approach to keep their ratings high by borrowing a tactic that is now firmly embedded in sitcom history. Michelle Pfeiffer, Johnny Cash, Meryl Streep, Ed Sheeran, James Earl Jones, and most recently Billie Eilish have all offered their vocal talents to Springfield as guests. Of course, while the list for The Simpsons goes on and on, Rick and Morty are beginning to make a similar approach. Acting icons from the past and present are getting the chance to contribute to sci-fi comedy. Taika Waititi, Patton Oswalt, Sam Neill, Susan Sarandon, Jeffrey Wright, Danny Trejo, and Kathleen Turner are just a few of the Smith family's adventures. The show creators would be wise to keep using this trick to keep the viewers engaged. Up next, building up the perfect ensemble. There must be a wider variety of characters for guest stars to portray and to the narrative. This is easier to accomplish once an ensemble has been formed. The Simpsons may center on the titular family who are frequently seen sitting on the sofa, but Springfield's cast of supporting characters is seemingly endless. Because there are so many different figures, there's such a diverse range range of storylines that draw from many point of views. The sitcom can return to any of these characters at any time, keeping the core cast of characters fresh. Outside of Marge, Homer, Lisa, Bart, and Maggie, everyone has a favorite, whether it's Flanders, Krusty, Patty, or Selma. Rick and Morty have yet to truly establish themselves as an ensemble in the same manner that The Simpsons has. It has returned to a few recurring characters, such as Bird Person, Tammy, and Mr. Poopy Butthole, but for the most part, the characters introduced to audiences stay no more than an episode. The program got a lot of narrative longevity out of the president, for example, and that can be done on a broader scale with a larger cast of characters to draw from. The main characters can keep on going to their intergalactic travels with new faces each time, but it wouldn't hurt to have a few returns here and there. Not just for consistency, but to broaden the number of stories to tell. Let's talk about the regular event episodes. The Simpsons haven't relied much on special episodes episodes throughout its run, but it has built a few traditions that give fans something to look forward to. It's traditional to air a Treehouse of Horror episode on Halloween, and each year Disney Plus Day launches a new trend of themed shorts on the streaming site. It's a great example to set, as the disruption just renews interest in the show. Rick and Morty recently went into similar territory, overdoing another Thanksgiving episode. Of course, it didn't even air at the appropriate time of year, but that only adds to the ridiculousness of the occasion. The show might make 
these Thanksgiving episodes an annual release, just as Treehouse of Horror has become a staple of the Halloween season. Years from now, the science fiction show will have established a new tradition, which will only increase its long-term appeal. Not to mention the benefit of meta-relevance. The Simpsons has managed to stay culturally relevant, often by making bizarre predictions about the future. The fact that Rick and Morty has a long way to go before it can leave the same legacy as its forefather, but it hasn't shied away from the idea that it can make meta jokes and directly comment on the real world. It's an idea that will keep the show relevant, as the writers will always have the opportunity to try something new, free of any fourth wall. Now for Where Did Dan Go Wrong? Dan Harmon, co-creator of Rick and Morty, has expressed his appreciation for the show for what it is. Season 6 of Adult Swim's Dimension Hopping, the cult sitcom, has begun. But Harmon was faced with explaining why boozy inventor grandpa Rick Sanchez's fifth season honesty can potentially catapult the program into other dimensions. As the story progresses, Morty becomes less and less of a punching bag or foil, and more and more of a companion to Rick. And this has the potential to ruin the show. Let's learn more about what Harmon said and some other details. Later on, Harmon mentioned how the broadcast age and section storytelling of his boyhood were purely commercial, with titles like Mork and Mindy, Family Ties and Happy Days, all weakened by the addition of a To Be Continued card. He explained that it was like being a little self-indulgent. Perhaps one believes they've reached their peak and are thinking, let's get serious about this and spread this story. Harmon simply does not like it. He believes that doing 1,000 standalone episodes is far more challenging, and as he grows older, he realizes that it was a commercial craft, and they focused on advertising and time slots. It wasn't based on anything more significant than a Netflix series that was picked up for 10 episodes and you're meant to watch them all simultaneously. Scott Martyr, an executive producer on Rick and Morty since 2020, chimed in, stating he'll approach it from a different angle. He believes he and Harmon are a terrific match. A well-balanced season, in his opinion, has a couple of big dogs that knock you out with a cannon, but mostly just a lot of one-offs and entertaining stuff that fans have come to expect from the show. Finally, the new series turns Morty's teacher into the new Rick. Rick and Morty are returning to comics for a special 12-issue series. This is a franchise that has remained tremendously successful since its debut nearly a decade ago. Surprisingly, comic books have witnessed the majority of Rick and Morty's travels. In 2015, Oni Press released a comic series that followed the characters of Dimension C-131 while exposing broader multiverse truths, such as the second Council of Ricks. The series ended in 2020, but the franchise's comic adventures continued with the Rick and Morty Presents spin-offs, which focused on fan favorites from the show. But viewers will soon be given another episodic series. Writer Alex Furrer recently stated on Twitter that the comic book series will return in 2023, beginning with Rick and Morty number one. He promises that hearts will break, gods will fight, and it will look fantastic. With heart by Fred C. Stressing and Mark Ellery, colors by Andrew Dollhouse, and lettering by Crank, we do not doubt that it'll be kick-ass. Two covers accompanied the announcement for the first issue of the series as well. One depicts Rick and Morty as asteroids, while the real duo is soaring through space on Rick's ship. That's a wrap for this video. What are your thoughts on the fact that Rick and Morty can learn from The Simpsons? Let us know in the comments below. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.